Probably want to follow the same train of thought, right? It's tempting to go meet the new character and stuff like that, but... What if I confront her about the Omen site? Like, what will change? She has something she's not telling us. I want to know... I can sense it. The tree is dying. Hurry, Harbinger! I'm gonna assume that she's just full of shit. <laughs> And that you do, it, it's, that it's mechanically not a problem, because it'd be a real bummer if the entire game was like you lost, start the entire thing over. It'd be that'd be, that'd be a huge bummer. Attention hit me with a frying pan instead. So, um, are we gonna talk about this or have you already made up your mind? You know, just so we're clear, I don't think, hey, look at this mystical vision can be used as proof in the Pagarian courts. <sighs> Never mind. I know what you want. That power of reveal you just hit me with. You wanna know why I killed her? Would you believe? I killed her to prevent a disaster? To save our world? Yeah, I know. I wouldn't believe me either. I need to put myself in your boots. See with your eyes. What would I need if I were you? Ha! Ah, how about I show you something? Although it's not as uh, brain rattling as that vision thing you did to me. Very well. You may notice among my many talents, I have a knack for discovery. Why, uh, what did you discover, Radica? You may ask. I am glad you asked. Uh, um, whatever you are. I just, uh-oh. Do you hear that? That new transfer to the torture room gives me the creeps. I swear the smirk he had, he's planning something. Oh, hello. We were just That new transfer to the torture room? Who the hell are we talking about here? God damn, you move fast when you're buffed up. Ow. Ow. I'm trying to hit Y, I swear. I'm not just blindly baiting those. Right. My discovery. Many of our Rodentian finests have their own idea on how we should fight Pegaria. And these fine few were meeting in secret with Vera. The war has kept me from investigating further, but I know where they met. And the proof is there. In the pudding, you might say. We're gonna go to a pudding factory. Neat. No, we're not. I don't think we are. Back to the Crimson Forest. Where she turned into a ghost monster last time. Great. So we never did get this whole, what am I to you question answered. Or even asked, so... What am I to you? A hostage? A tool? Now, now, don't look at me like that. You'll get your proof, but keep in mind that I'm also leading my people in a war. So if we need any Imperials along the way, we fight. Well, this place is pretty. Did I see a path back here? Nope. Ah, you escaped! Being out and being free is not the same. Now carry on. Ooh. Are you a raccoon? It's a bit of a difference from the usual. I know you don't trust me right now, friend. I could easily change that, but I made a promise years ago. And believe me, not talking about something is really hard for me. Oh, I, I can I can tell. <laughs> Seriously, who builds these places? That's a weird looking wall. Look, these places are so introversible and by normal means. Uh oh. Uh oh. Whoa. I fell into the wall. I'm glad I didn't fall out of the level. But I think we were on the we were on like the margin of error there. They're going that way. Surprise, I can open your seals. Plot twist. Ooh, story. Hmm. 
Vera, the Night Watch. As young Vera surveys the trees, a strange sound reaches her ear. It is as if whispers are riding the wind. Vera's mother, Harava, nudges her, her daughter. Vera, it is our responsibility as temple guards to watch over the sacred grounds. Why are you watching the trees? I hear something, mother. What you hear is rustling. Look. Vera follows her mother's gesture. Before Vera can utter a word, her mother is off, skirting the soil and returning to Vera with the captured prisoner. Herava addresses her victim. Radica. Radica does not quiver in fear, but instead yells obstinately. What are you doing, snatching me up like that? You are trespassing, Herava returns. These lands are reserved for the temple of Yarbog. You know this, Radica. While the little Rodentian uh, attempts to make some excuse, Harava turns to Vera. Return her to where she belongs. Vera nods and departs, a tight grip on the trespassing Rodentian. I'm not a criminal. You can let me go, Rodentia states. Kind of inaccurate, don't you think? Vera counters. The Rodentian stays silent, so Vera continues. You have nothing else to say. I'm trying to think of a properly dramatic way to inform you that you're wrong. Virtually impossible. Hang on, we're almost there. As if I have a choice to hang on or not, Radica mutters. Vera releases the Redentian, and then the, and as Radica runs off, she turns and yells, Next time a little warning would be appreciated, even if only a whisper. Little hints at four characters now. There's so many of them around here. Don't mind me. Just, I just want all resources. After you're done saving the world? Wait, that's that's some backwards logic right there. I guess the barrels are, are invincible. Can't you practice after there's no more reason to use your weapon ever again? That's logical. Howdy, folks. Ah. I wanted to throw the I wanted to throw the bomb the first time around and didn't really work out. Ooh. That went cleanly. Ooh, that went way further than I thought it would. How does it pick its targets? Sometimes I throw something and it moves like a couple of feet. And other times I throw something and it moves across the whole map. There we go. It's called grinding, you wouldn't understand because you're a character in the universe instead of somebody motivated by mechanics. But Look, <laughs> I know you're trying to fix something big. I guess all our lives are at stake. So trust or no trust, I've got your back. Even though I am likely working against her, she is willing to work with me. Because she understands that whatever I'm here for. It's probably an end of the world scenario. Which is kind of a big deal. That's not a great look. <laughs> oh no. It just disappears. It, it doesn't do that like portal through the wall uh, view that they did before. Whoops. Okay. Yeah. Here I have as my, my first stint of what I was talking about before. Which is that when I don't have the other two characters, I can't knock stuff over. So I'm ha like, I'm just, it's not on my list of capabilities, really. Not even a heavy attack. Can I just grab it? Nope. I would basically need an explosive barrel. We have to help the others build the barricade. We're not done here yet. And those kind of are not around here. Maybe there's some other ability you get or something. Or maybe another you must be able to come through here with a different character at some point, and then they can knock it over. Can 
come in handy from a mischief perspective. Ooh. Another one of those. I almost missed it because it's so small. The rescue, Radica. That is... It is hard to make out what's in that picture. It's so far away from the camera. Someone fell into like a cave or something. Out of breath, Radica finally reaches Yor Yarbog's temple, just in time to witness the death of the last remaining temple guards. From the roof of the temple, they scream as they attempt to dodge the supernatural storm that has been ravaging the heavens. But the lightning is too vast, and with a grotesque contortion, they fall to their deaths. Earthquakes tear roots from trees and cut ch chasms through the earth. One crevice extending so far that its fissure stops just short of Radica. Radica lunges into action. There has to be a survivor, she thinks. Fear drums in her mind as she follows the chasm, her direction dri driving her closer to the eye of the storm. Something catches her eye. Is that a body? Radica pauses. A dozen variables flipping through her mind. She notices a way down, a somewhat safe way to reach the victim. But how long before the next tremor collapses the fissure on her? Radica takes a chance, descending the steep slope at a run. As she drops beside the body, she notices a familiarity in that unconscious face. It's Vera. Injured or worse? Moving on impulse, Radica checks her vitals. She's unconscious but alive. In an eye blink, that's a... no one says that. In the blink of an eye, Radica evacuates, scaling up the incline, Vera in tow. When she reaches her family, after aftershock, another aftershock violently shakes the ground. Radica, her father shouts, are you crazy, going into that storm? We've got to help her, Radica declares, Vera still in her arms. She's the only one left alive. Damn it, daughter. Her father examines the unconscious owl. Look at this one. Targaryen. What am I to do with her? She doesn't belong in a Rodentian family. I know that, Dad. Her father crosses his arms. Well, I'm not taking her to Pygaria. Riley, Radica adds. I know that too, Dad. And so that's how Vera ended up adopted as Ludomir's sibling. And they're Pygarian. Hmm. So Radica literally saved her life, and yet killed her later. So there's, there had to be some kind of reason. Otherwise, it's just a bizarre choice. That shoots fire, but I have no reason to use it. I think if I jump down, she'll use it when the things inevitably attack me right now. Or not? Is no one going to attack me? Huh. Hi. Oh, God. Got a little mixed up and forgot that was an explosive for a second there. It's a really weird mistake to make. No more projectiles, please. Ow. Ow. Thought I dodged out of the way of that. Ow. Jeez. That went after no one. Good job, me. Okay, I felt that happen that time. I guess I'm, I guess I'm holding the controller at a weird angle, so I'm like slightly hitting the edge of the right bumper, and it's leading to weird moments where I accidentally use the time power. I'm not sure if there's actually a spot around here, story-wise, for blowing that stuff up. Not story-wise, exploration. Story. <laughs> wow, it goes far. Oh well. Got my codex entry. I don't my think memory. Is part of the story. Is it? I don't think killing me is part of the story. Getting a little meta now, Radica. Once on the bridge, watch out for those barrels. Special welcome for the Empire tonight. 
And since I'm working hard to earn your trust, it'd be a waste if you blew yourself up. I want to blow up that barrel. I mean, that bridge. Uh... Was all the way back here? Shit. I was mistaken. I thought I saw a barrel recently. I want to blow that thing up. I need to knock these bridges over. Important. Radica. Come on. Yeah, nothing around here is the, is the right kind of barrel, is it? We need to get this purple lock. These things are everywhere. Is there anything to throw that at it? I'm guessing no. Goodbye, gem. Yeah, it came back. Really disheartening to watch it go flying off the cliff like that. <laughs> like, no, come back, I needed that. It's the progression system. That's one of them. Hey, you! Is the path to the amber tree clear? The amber tree? Why do you care about that? Oh, you know, I may have accidentally followed you. Mysterious gatherings in the night make my whiskers shiver with excitement. Unless I misunderstood? I mean, who would plan a secret meeting in such a conspicuous place, right? Besides, if you all were working on a secret plan, you would tell me about it. Me being your boss and all? I told the others that you knew too much. Kill them. Whoops. Found the traitor. Ow, didn't throw it in time. Rapid fire kill now. Bye bye. I got bad news for all of you right now. Ow, he got me. Stop that. Seriously, Radica, why, why do your soldiers suck so much? Look at them all just being useless. Ow. You have to find it somewhat alarming how they're all just being cut down so effortlessly by, uh, well, you in particular, also. Oh, that hit me. See the killjoys Vera had been tangled up with? The roll just tends to not escape. Not quite. This is a monkey temple in a game that has never- I've never seen a monkey in. So many doors. Are they all just dead? Right, I remember this courtyard. It's not that I've never been here before, it's just that I haven't been here for a while. Long enough that I was- when I first came here, I was tempted to say I've never been here before. Can't go up there. This way. This is the weird stuff where you yeah you have to do like an individual attack for every individual barrel when they're all in a stack like that. With some time dedicated to that. We can't even go in there. That's interesting. The baboon. Fountain, I guess. Get him. Uh oh, what's all that? What am I walking in right now?
Well, that's interesting to look at. The entire thing's... It's a crystal-covered tree with a lock on it. I guess it's time to find the key for that. Ugh, the seal. See this symbol here? This is Vera's. She and I... We knew each other a long time. To her, the art of creating and inscribing these seals was sacred. She wouldn't have shared the means to unlock the gate with just anyone. We need to think. Think, think, think. Okay. I go back here. That's a cool sight, by the way. So who knows... So we now know that purple is Vera's seal, specifically. But who knows how to open it? Also, I can go straight through the crystal on some of these jumping angles. It's a weird sight. Usually when I'm looking for a solution, I just need to shout, There it is! And... There they are! Oh, that didn't work out. Try again. Get the blue ponytail first. Ow. Ow, by the way. Can one of you guys give me the opening for this, please? Because the only person I know that is supposed to know how to open it is dead, and that's kind of a problem. How do we get in? There must be some other way to unlock the gate. Talk! Y you'll have no hand in the cleansing of this world. Only two people could have opened this gate. One is dead, and the other soon will be. Oh. Two people, you say? It matters not. You are too late. You cannot stop what comes. Two people. The other one must be someone Vera trusted. It'd take a half-wit to see it, and I bet a half-wit is exactly who we're looking for. Where's the bear? If I'm right, I usually am, then I know who can track him down. Unfortunately, he's really, really dead now. He's so dead now. <laughs> oh. He's turned out to be a really important character. So on top of being able to open Rodentian seals, he can also open Vera's seal. At least that's what she thinks. Radica? And that one with you. Yeah. Interesting. So you know who this is? I'm just surprised to see you here. I know the fighting's not over yet. Something urgent came up. Look, I know you keep tabs on everyone. Where is Ludomir? Ludomir? We need something from him. Unless you can travel back in time, you're out of luck. He's now a pile of steaming ash. Indrix work, of course. That's inconvenient. Uh, Beobor? Yes? Why do you keep looking at the clock? Oh, I'm waiting for someone. If we hadn't learned already, there's another hint that Fiobor is the and knows about the, uh, Actually, no, that's not really another hint. Uh, that's actually more explicit. Because uh, I... Yeah! In the previous encounter, I just inferred that Fiobor probably specifically knows about the apocalypse situation because uh, a, a like, cross-kingdom alliance of soldiers and stuff like that it is, like, cultish-looking, like, subversive behavior. And I just, I just guessed that, but that's more or less our, our confirmation is that he's looking at the clock right when it's happening, because he knows. Alright. Only Vera and the one she trusts with her life, Ludomir, have the key to Vera's personal seal. Okay, now it's just telling me that. It's not even inferring, like, oh, maybe it's Ludomir. It's just saying it's Ludomir for sure. So I guess we're gonna go back to Ludomir. Because those, those purple seals are everywhere. In Rodentia, passage through an amber tree is locked by Vera's seal. It leads to Vera's secret hideout. In a secret hideout in Rodentia, inside a sealed amber tree, Vera met with a treacherous group of Rodentians. Met- wait. Met with Rodentians after she was already stabbed? That's the timeline, isn't it? Left or right? 
I've also skipped over something, evidently. I would guess it probably involves the new character we can talk to. I'm just interested in following the current logic thread as much as I can, so... I'm kind of avoiding going with, uh, in with, uh, the Emperor until I need to. You show good composure, Harbinger. I would have killed that treacherous Fiobor on sight. Now, Ludomir, what will it take for him to teach you how to unlock the seal? That's a good question. We don't know. Like, while I know I need that from him, I can't ask him specifically for that. And it's really out of his way. And neither of his goals lead him there, so that might be the current issue. Always start encounter at level 1. Sure. We actually managed to get that high. I'll buff Ludomir's melee attack, sure. It goes exactly to zero. The issue here is that while it's tempting to go straight to Ludomir, I don't know if it's possible to get him to go there. Ludomir's the only one with the key to unlocking the seal protecting Vera's hideout. He's also hellbent on avenging Vera's death, perhaps helping him obtain his vengeance would earn his trust. Right. Right. That is true. We didn't we have not followed up on actually killing her yet. I can sense it. The tree is dying. Hurry, Harbinger. Now we're skipping towards the end again, and we're going off to kill Radica this time. Which might lead to him opening the vault. Hopefully. Ooh, that's a close one. Ratica. She fooled me into believing she was a good person. Oh, I still remember the day she showed up with Vera. Ratica had the notion that all for now we should live with bears. I can't afford to doubt. Radica must die. Still a mess. Save your wits for someone who cares. So, <laughs> you're not here to rescue me? Uh, enough! You know exactly why I'm here. Hold on. It's complicated, all right? Just, just give me a moment. I can explain everything. What I don't understand is why you would want to kill Vera. I thought you were friends. She was even helping Rodentia, helping you. Listen to me. I can explain everything. Oh, let me guess. For your cause, for the greater good, for Odentia. Save your explanation. I'll let you tell it to Vera herself. But I had to do it, and it was for... <sighs> Never mind. You Ludomir I get, but you? Why do you want me dead? Never mind. You picked on the wrong Rodentian. Ow! Cut it out! Don't do that! Well, she is not very durable. Ow. Ow? Bullet, hair bullet hell attacks? Ow. Jump attacks it is, then. Ow, that hit me too? Did I just die? Alright, jumping attack doesn't work out. Damn. You melt in this game.
Time to have another real fun skip all the dialogue scenario. <laughs> oh. How is there not a how is there not a skip entire cutscene button? Or like hold B to do that or something. It doesn't work. It's so weird. It's so easy to melt the first half of her health bar. It's crazy. It's good. That, that's why. That's definitely why they gave the other character a force field that regenerates every time you hit him. It's done, Vera. It's done. I can't believe it's done. Maybe now Vera's spirit will be at peace. It's the least I could do. She reached out to me, you know? I mean, when she died, she guided me to her body. I found her in the sewers, discarded like an old doll. I should visit her. Her grave, I mean. Both of us. She would want you to be there, I think. So we're gonna go to where her... We're gonna go to where she died, which probably shows us the final piece in her timeline. Well, also, he, it's probably going to be sealed by her seal, and he'll open it, which will teach us the seal. And then we can go back to Radica's timeline and just skip over the fact that, uh, yeah, by the way, the reason I know how to open the seal, Radica, is because I had to murder you in another timeline to get it. 